Hey friend, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really quick color grading tip that has sort of been a game changer for me since I learned it. I'm definitely not the originator of this technique and I've seen at least two other videos of people using it in different contexts, but I just wanted to take some time to share with you today, kind of in my context, how I've been using it to get just more pleasing images. It's definitely like a tool that I have reached for pretty regularly over the last few months to grade certain projects. And so we're just gonna dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you guys. Okay, so for this tip, we're inside DaVinci Resolve. This is just a recent YouTube talking head where I use this technique. Just wanted to show you guys for context of how I've been using it, but you can also use this on any type of footage. So we're just gonna go to the color page and this is already graded. Um, I just have a little bit of corrections going on. I have my LUTs and then finishing off with the film effects. And you guys will see this note here. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. And so here is before and then after, before, and then after. Overall, we're just seeing the image get a lot richer. And so we're gonna kind of dive into what this technique is. So for now, we're just gonna delete this node. I'm wanting the colors to not be like cheesily saturated, but I'm just definitely wanting them to feel dense and rich. And I feel like that's something that I notice in films. And so we're gonna dive into this technique. So we're just gonna add a node. And this is an example where, yeah, I feel like my skin is just looking a little bit lifeless. I'm wanting to bring a little bit more richness to this image. I think this image is great as of now, um, but we're going to take a step further. So we could just boost saturation, but I, like I said, I think this starts to just look a little bit cheesy and just low quality with the way that the saturation slider works. So we're actually going to go over here and on this node. We're going to go to color space and we're going to change this to HSV. And then we're going to go ahead and turn off channels one and three, and this basically just leaves us with the middle channel of HSV, which is saturation, and that's now gonna be affected with our gain. And so you guys will see, as I bring my gain up, you can start to see just kind of the vibrance come to the skin um, without really affecting exposure at all. And so if I undo that, you guys will see down here on the waveform, it's kind of just like overall making the image denser, but especially on my skin, I feel like is where it shows up the most is it's just making that a whole lot more rich and dense. And that is pretty much all there is to it for this technique. We're gonna call this HSV. You guys can definitely save time by creating a power grade. I have my own think inside this folder um, called add HSV and I can just go to display node graph and here it is. And whenever I want to add it, I can just drop it onto a node and then play with the gain as I want to adjust it. And so that's the only thing you're gonna to want to adjust on this node. If you start to adjust other things, it's gonna look kind of odd. So just stick to the gain control um, to kind of pump some saturation into your image without it looking too cheesy. So here's before and then after, before and then after. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop any questions down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.